Hello, hello. Hi, Mary, how are you? Hola, hola, ¿me escuchan? Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening, Monica. How are you? Fine. Fine, thank you. Good night, teacher. Good evening, Mary. How are you? Uh, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, teacher, pero me duele la garganta. Ah, I have a throat sore. I am, será, I am sick no, I in the throat. Ajá, uh -huh. I'm sick from the throat, también puede decir. Soy enferma de la garganta, I'm sick from the throat. Ah, ok, eso. Es que, es que me, me duele y como que fuera um, um, infección en la garganta. Nada más, solo el dolor en la garganta. Ajá, uh -huh, Pero America. acá estoy, acá estoy. <laughs> Excelente, very good, that's the move, excellent. No, pero si sí te da mucho cuidado, Mary, mire que a mí así me comenzó y ahora ya no huelo ni siento sabor a nada, so. Pues le informo que hace um, quizás un menos de un mes me recuperé, me dio COVID. Así es que ya pasé ese susto. Creo que es una secuela. Ay, <risa> no, Mary, yes. Oh, my gosh. Pero ya estamos acá. Eso es lo importante. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. That's the good. Very good. Thank All right. you, teacher. Got, it's a pleasure to see you, everyone. And we're going to wait a couple of minutes before the class starts because I'm seeing that before the class starts because we are missing some of your classmates or we are missing some students. So we're going to wait one more minute, all right? And we're going to start the class. Okay. <laughs> Y les ha agarrado la tarde a los alumnos. Quizás el tráfico, right? Yo creo que se durmieron, teacher. No, that's not possible. <risa> ya sí es una semana, ya todo cansado. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Sí, es cierto. But hey, look at the bright side. Vean el lado positivo que ya solo les faltan four classes. Después de estas four classes, and that's it. Cuatro clases para terminar este, este módulo. Ajá. This level. Wow. Mm. Ya ven, ya en rápido vamos. We're going super fast. All right, everyone. So welcome to today's class. As always, it's a pleasure to see you. Let me share with you, my dear students, my PPT. And we are in Thursday. Thursday, September 9th. 2021, whose genes are this, right? We're still in section four. Okay, let's take it easy. And we are in class 12. Just give me one second. Now, let's see, we have this 
questions that are useful just to remember what we saw last class. So let's see. Uh, Mary, mention at least three vocabulary words related to clothes. Mary? Oops, I'm sorry, el micrófono, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Blas, uh -huh. Blas, um, dress, um, jacket. Uh -huh. Excellent, very really good. Let's see, Monica, tell me three vocabulary words related to clothes. Teacher, cap, tie, uh, shoes, sneaker, uh, jacket, dress, pyjama. Right. Excellent, very good, Monica, thank you. Um, let's see, Karen, tell me, Karen, three vocabulary words related to clothes. Good night, teacher. Uh, pants, jeans, uh, blouse. Blouse, uh -huh, blouse, all right, thank you. And let's see, William, yesterday you didn't participate, so let's see now. Hello. Good Hello. night, Miss. Welcome, William. Okay, so tell me at Thank least you. three vocabulary words related to clothes. Mm, I work a um, boat, a pants, uh -huh, pants, and t shirt. T shirt, excellent. Really good. T shirt. All right, excellent. Now, Carlos Guevara, mention at least three colors that you learned um, last class. Well, before last class. Good night. Hello, uh, good evening. Dark gray, yellow, red, blue, orange. All right, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. The more the better. All right, excellent. Uh, Jamilet Torres, mention at least three colors that you remember. Jamilet Torres. Hmm, she's not. Angela Rosario, mention at least three colors that you learned last class. Good night. Hello, good evening. Mm, the color is red. Huh? Um like light, light blue. Light blue. Uh -huh. Another one, just one more. Um green. Great. All right. Excellent. Very good. Listen, everyone, this is vocabulary that you have already. So the only thing that you need to do is just to practice with it. Try to remember. Now, three adjectives that you remember. Let's see. I'm going to give you some examples. For example, a small, short. Let's see, William. Three adjectives that you remember. Um... Good looking. Uh -huh. Good looking. Uh, handsome. Talkative. Talkative. Excellent. Really good, William. Thank Let's you, Miss. Karen, three adjectives that you remember? Karen, three adjectives. Mm -hmm. uh, my. Your hair. Adjectives, Karen. For example, a small, handsome. Oh, yes, yes. Is. Slim, cook, serious. Uh, 
All right. Very good, Karen. Thank you. Now let's check Jamilet. Is your microphone working or your audio? Yo creo que no me escuchan de nuevo. ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? ¿Y si le escuchamos? Ajá, ya mire. Mention three adjectives. <clears throat> no. Okay. Let's go with Monica. Tell me three adjectives. Wow. Little heavy, trendy, tall. Judith Bustos es la versión peruana. Very good. Thank you. All right, everyone, don't forget about adjectives. And please don't uh, confuse them with possessive adjectives because those are different, right? Now, let's check this, uh, this chart. You already have this chart. You know very well this chart. Yesterday, we were practicing with it. I want you to differentiate always the subject pronouns, adjectives, and pronouns. We have three different options. They are not the same, right? So you need to vary whenever you are using them. Now let's go with uh, the use of possessive adjectives. You know that we use them when the object is at the end of the sentence, right? Like the examples, cups, computer, documents, right? We have them at the end of the sentence. Then you have possessive pronouns. I noticed yesterday that we have some issues with possessive pronouns, right? Just keep in mind that in this case, your object is going to be at the beginning of the sentence. Ojo con esto. A veces puede decir el beginning de la oración o el principio de la oración no necesariamente quiere decir que va a ser la primera palabra sino que se va a encontrar dentro de las primeras palabras. Porque si ustedes notan aquí, aquí hay un demonstrate y luego está el object. Solo para que no nos confundamos, right? Entonces, it's basically at the beginning of the sentence. Then you have your verb to be, and then you are going to use your possessive pronoun, right? That's mandatory. El possessive pronoun en este caso va a ir al final. It's going to be at the end. And I want you to be very clear with this because I noticed some confusion, uh, a, little bit of conf a little bit of confusion yesterday about this. And now we're going to practice. I have these exercises for you, my dear students. It says possessive pronouns. Read the sentence and choose the correct possessive pronoun to fill in the blank, right? It's basic. You have already the information, you just have to complete it with the possessive pronouns. Ya tienen las oraciones, solo van a utilizar el possessive pronoun que ustedes crean correcto. All right, let's work on it. Trabajemos en esto, let's work on it.
finished with these ones? All right, let's start. Maria Teresa, what do you have for number one? Number one is um, mine. Uh -huh, okay. My okay. pronunciation no tanto, pero es my my. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. No hay problema okay. con eso. Chile, estamos para ayudar. Okay. Pero hagamos el análisis de la sentence. Okay. My aunt Lucy has a red car. ¿Quién tiene el carro? Fox. ¿Yo o mi tía? Mi tía. Oh. My the car right. is hers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. My aunt oh. Lucy has a red car. No, está bien, no se preocupe. Eso es lo que me encanta, uh -huh. hacer el análisis de la sí. oración. My aunt Lucy has a red card. The red card is hers. Hers. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> You're hers. welcome, Mary. It's a pleasure. Monica, number two. Both, voy a bajar la mano, pero both has a small puppy. It is my puppy. Okay, Monica, do you have the puppy or Bob has the puppy? The puppy. Bob has the puppy. Uh -huh. is, it is okay. his. Exactly. Exactly. His. It is his puppy. Excellent. Very yes. good. Very good. And you gotta, everyone, esto es para todos. Siempre fíjense, eh, trato de ponerles images para que veamos también los géneros, right? Los genres. For the boy is his, for the girl is hers, right? Excellent, very really good, thank you. Let's go with number three, Carlos. Carlos, ¿qué eh, Hola. Okay. He estado analizando, pero había hecho mi respuesta. Creo que me equivoqué en las tres. Okay. Todo eso se trata de aprender. Yes, of course. Esto es así. Solo trabajando en ejercicios, vemos si en realidad nos quedó claro o no. Okay. Sí. Vamos a ver, eh, number three. Young and life in a big house. The house is mine. Mm, let's check. Tengo dos subjects ahí. John equivaldría he, right? Supongamos, equivale el he. Y tengo el otro subject. ¿Cuál es mi otro subject? Hours. Um, Hi. Mire, John and I. And I, ah, okay. Live and in I. a big house. The house is. Ours. Ours. Theirs. No, theirs no, porque yo estoy ahí, no es de ellos. Es nuestra. Theirs. All right. Theirs. Uh -huh. Okay. Excellent, Mary. Entonces la, entonces la, la tenía buena. <laughs> Ay, pues lo que... siento, lo siento, lo siento. Ni modo. Es que tenía mis dudas, pero qué bueno que lo aclaró. Very good, very good. There you go. Mary, tenía preguntas, vi que levantó la mano. 
No, teacher. Era para dar la respuesta de esta. Oh, okay. Okay. Don't worry, tenemos más ejercicios. All right. Okay. It's clear, right? I have two subjects, two uh, subject pronouns, John and I. Now let's move on to the first, to the other one. Keep in mind, everyone, this chart, okay? Keep in mind this chart. For example, if I'm talking about we, or I have the adjective our, my pronoun is going to be ours, ours, right? Ours. Let's go to the followings. Peter and Wendy. Okay. Let's work on these ones and then we are going to tell the answers. Ajá, uh -huh, Karen. Question. En la cinco... ¿Qué significa snow, snowman? Hombre de nieve, snowman. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, yes. What is lot? Lots, lots uh -huh. of. Lots of. Uh -huh. Es mucho. Mucho. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. There you go. Okay, okie dokie, let's start. Let's see. William, what do you have for number four? Is number four, Peter and Wendy have pretty flowers. The flowers are horse. Mm, let's see. Peter and Wendy, usted es Peter. Are you Peter? No. All right. No. Okay. Look at this one. There. Exactly. Si usted está dentro de eso, puede decir hours. Hours, right? Hours. Como en el en number three, que aparecía el I. Pero como no estamos okay. ahí, vamos a utilizar hey theirs. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Miss. All right. Excellent. Let's go with Aníbal, number five. I am making a snowman. The snowman is mine. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Um, let's see. Karen, 
Number six. Is yours? You have lots of present. The present are you? Yours? Yours. yours. Excellent. Very good. That's correct. Yours. Alejandro, number seven, please. The kitten. The the kid. The kitten has a new toy. This is your toy. Ese es dicho. Okay, let's see. If I'm talking about an animal, kitten is an animal. Kitten is gatito, una manera cariñosa, right? The kitten has, entonces sería its. Exactly. Wow. This Sorry. is its toy. Así sería, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. This is its toy. This is it. This is its toy. Excellent. Very really good. Very really good. Remember that uh, we don't know the gender of the kitten, right? We don't know if it is a female or if it is masculine. We don't know. So that's why we're using its, basically because it's an animal. All right. Excellent. Thank you, everyone. So I hope that with these examples, the topic is clear, right? Let's hope for it. Now let's move on. We have plenty, plenty of content in today's class. Let me make this. Okay, there you have it. We have, it's a spring in Brazil. It's warm, it's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining, it's hot and humid. It's fall in the US. It's cool, it's cold and, no, it's cool, it's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing, it's very cold. Okay, take a look at this. Cuando dice, is it spring? it's a spring, it's summer, it's fall, it's winter, it means seasons, temporadas, seasons, right? Cuando nos dice, it's warm, it's raining, it's snowing, it's cool. Those are weather, right? Weather. Ese ya es el clima. Seasons, weather. Two different things, right? Now, keep an eye on that one. I'm going to check vocabulary right now. Let's start with uh, Monica. Tell me the information about Brazil. This is this this is spring in Brazil. It's a spring. It's spring in Brazil. Mm -hmm. It is one is very sunny. Excellent. Thank you. Angela Rosario, tell me the information about Korea. It's summer in Korea. Uh -huh. It's what else? How's the weather? It's raining. Raining? Ah, uh, raining. It's hot and um, humid. Humid. Excellent. Pretty good. Uh, Ruben Perez. Tell me the season and the weather in United States. It's fall in the USA. It's cool, it's cloudy and windy. Excellent, thank you. And the last one, William, how are the seasons in Russia and how is the weather? It's in weather in Russia. It's, it's winter. Snowing. It's winter in Russia. Mm -hmm. In Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Excellent. Very cool. Very, very cold. Aquí sí es cold. 
call. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Bye. Quiero que esto quede bien claro. Eh, cuando hablamos de spring, summer, and winter, and fall, those are seasons. Esas son temporadas. Aquí en Salvador no tenemos tantas temporadas. We only have like two. We have a summer and winter. That's it. Right? O solo llueve o solo full calor aquí in our country. But in another countries, they have summer, they have spring, they have fall, winter. Those are the seasons. Esas son las temporadas, seasons. Si hablamos del clima o los cambios climáticos, tenemos warm, sunny, hot, humid, cold, snowing, cloudy, windy. All right? There you have it. Now, let's move on. Keep an eye on that one. There are two different things. Conversation. It's very cold. We have bath in June. Let me see, Aníbal, you are a bath? And Maria Teresa, you are Julie. Action. Oh, no. What the, ma the mother matter? Must, it's what? snowing. Uh, I'm sorry, comencemos otra vez, please. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Uh, repeat after me, Maria. Matter. Okay. Matter. Uh -huh. Dígale que comencemos, por favor. Let's start again, Aníbal. Action. Okay, no problem. Oh, no. What is the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you are wearing your coat? But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a, a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Excellent. Very good friend, Mary. Excellent. And you all repeat after me, boots. Uh, boots. Right. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Mary, repeat after me, matter. Matter. What's the matter? What's the matter? ¿Cuál es el problema? What's the matter? Oops. Right? <laughs> What's Excellent. the matter? <laughs> Very good. Eh, Carlos, you, Carlos Guevara, you are Paz. And Monica, you are Julie. Action. Oh, no. What? Ah, Monica. What the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you are wearing your coat. But my coat is warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay. Let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Excellent, bravo, very good. All right, and this is for everyone. Here we go, pay attention. Esta pronunciación es weary. Weary. Ayer les comentaba que no podemos decir we, weary. Tampoco podemos decir weird, porque son cosas bien diferentes, okay? Esta es weary. Así, pronunciamos directo la like, Wearing, all right? Wearing. Wearing your coat. Wearing boots, right? Excellent, thank you. Let's go with William. You are Pat. Karen, you are Julie. Action. Oh, no. What the mother? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they at home. Where do where do where, where do the wear do go? But my coat is warm, and I'm not wearing boots. 
Okay, let's take a taxi. Thank you, Lee. Excellent, really good job. Thank you so much. All right, keep, uh, keep an eye on this, my dear students. Uh, this is for everyone again. Keep an eye on this part. Your, their, right? Some contractions. No se olviden de las contractions del verb to be. They are whom. You're wearing your coat. Okay, your. Let's go with Alejandro. You are Pat. And Angela Rosario. You are Julie. Action. Oh, oh no. What's the matter? It's snow snowing and it's very cold are you wearing your clothes no they're at home well you're wearing your coat coat but my clothes in war and i am not wearing boots Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Excellent, bravo, very good. Alejandro, repeat after me. I'm sorry. Isn't warm? Isn't warm. Uh -huh. Esta es la contraction de is not, en vez de decir is not, decimos isn't warm. Isn't warm. Mm -hmm. Isn't okay. warm. Excellent. Very good. Now, very good. I'm going to have Ruben Perez. You are path. And let me see if I can get you. And Jamile Torres, you are Julie. Okay. Action. Oh, no. What's the matter? No, we... Hola. It... No sé si me escuchan. Sí, sí, le escuchamos ya. Action. <laughs> Are <laughs> you wearing... Comenzamos de nuevo, Yamile. Nos escucha usted, nosotros. Okay. Eh, sí, sí, les escucho, pero no sabía si ustedes me estaban escuchando. No sé si le escuchamos, ¿ok? Let's start again, Rubén. Action. Oh, no. What's the oh. matter? It's snowy and um, very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? 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 No, they're at home. Gloves? Where do you wear um, your coat? Uh, but my coat is warm. And, and I'm not wearing. And okay. I'm not, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay. Let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Excellent, very good, thank you. I know, my dear student, I know that I know that sometimes it could be hard because the audio is going after. A veces no llega después el audio. Pero let's, let's take it easy, right? <laughs> this is not our fault, it's the internet's fault. <laughs> All right, very good, everyone. I noticed something. Puede notar algo. Me llamo mucho la atención. Some of you were saying gloves. What's the pronunciation for that word, William? Gloves or gloves? Gloves. Exactly. Very good. All right. Thank you, William. And this is for everyone. Don't forget the pronunciation of clothes. No nos olvidemos de ese vocabulario, right? Now, let's move on. This conversation was useful. Did you see, Mary? 
Lo siento, teacher, es que ahora estoy conectada con el teléfono y me está costando. Toqué allí y no era nada, disculpas. Ah, ok. Ok, no se preocupe. No se preocupe. All right. Let's go with present continuous. La conversation, the conversation, estaba basada en present continuous. Um, I'm going to have Aníbal, please, read the information of present continuous. Present continuous. We use present continuous or present progressive whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress or is happening right now. Exactly, thank you. This is different from simple present, totally different, right? In here you're talking about actions that are in progress or happening right now. For example, Phoebe is watching the computer. Okay, Phoebe is watching the computer. This is an action right now. Keep, keep your mind in this part, right? We use present continuous or progressive. Les puse los dos porque en otros libros o en otras informaciones los van a encontrar como progressive y en otros como continuous. Y no quiero que se vayan a confundir, es el mismo, right? Siempre, la opción progresiva. Present continuous or present progressive. Whenever we talk about an action that is happening in the moment right now or is in progress. Present continuous. I'm, it says, I'm, I'm not, wait. There you have in here. She's wearing shoes. She's not, she isn't wearing Boots. Okay. Permítanme, voy a cortar esto. Let me see if I can make it. Okay. De aquí nos vamos. She's wearing shoes. She's not. She isn't wearing shoes. She isn't wearing boots. Okay. We are or where. We're not. We aren't. They are. They are not. They aren't. It's snowing. It's not. It isn't raining. Aquí, en esto, voy a borrar esto. Les aparecen ambas estructuras. Les aparecen en presente y en progresivo. Esto es solo para que vean la diferencia entre cada una. Después yo les voy a explicar con las estructuras, right? Let's practice. William, tell me the first two sentences. Only the first two sentences. Um, oh, sure. Both. Um, I'm not. Okay. Um, I'm not. You're, you're not. You aren't. Excellent. Very good. Very good, thank you. Maria Teresa, continue with the following two. She is wearing, 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 wearing. She's wearing shoes. She's not. She is is not wearing books. Where, continue. Yes, continue. Where uh, we're not. Where we aren't. Excellent. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Continue, Carlos Guevara. There. There. They're not. They aren't. Continue. It's snowing. It's not. It is raining. Excellent. Thank you. All right, that's pretty basic in here. What I want to explain you is the following. Alejandro, uh -huh. Teacher, entonces la primera columna, eh, la, perdón, la tercera, you are in, eh, we are in, todos esos, ese sería el presente continuo. Donde dice wearing, she's wearing 
Ahí ya es presente continuo. She's... No, o sea bueno. que es la primera, la primera línea. I am, you're, she's wearing shoes. Esa parte es el presente continuo, entonces. Todo esto es el presente continuo. Lo único que no le han puesto el verbo continuo a todos. Por ejemplo, podemos haber dicho, pudimos haber dicho, I am wearing shoes. You are wearing shoes. We are we're wearing shoes. They are wearing shoes. ¿Ok? Ok. Thank you, Aquí está solamente el, el subject plus the verb to be, para que ustedes lo tengan en mente. Y ojo con eso, ya van a ver la estructura. En esta no me van a quitar el verb to be. Aquí es cuando más lo tienen que mantener. Vamos a la structure para que entendamos esto mejor. It says subject plus verb to be plus verb plus ing plus complement. Este ing that you can see in here, que ustedes pueden ver aquí, va a ir unido al verb. ¿Ok? Copy this structure, please. If you don't have it, copy this structure on your notebook. Finished with the structure? Yes, yes. Miss. Finished. Okay. Guiding examples. Okay, estos son los ejemplos que yo he hecho para ustedes. Guiding examples. William, help me please with number one. Marta is wearing her favorite skirt. Exactly. William, what is Marta? Is el subject. Mm -hmm. Is. Verbo to be. Verbo to be o verb to be. Verb to be. Uh -huh. Wearing. El, el verb plus ing. I-N-G. I-N-G. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Okay. And the rest. Complement. Complement. Excellent. Her power is here. Excellent. Very good. All right. Lo que sigue después de la estructura, mis queridos estudiantes, ahorita le vamos a llamar complement. Pero todo esto tiene su parte gramatical. Por ejemplo, aquí ya llevamos un possessive adjective y llevamos más cosas. Pero lo demás, después de que termine la estructura, solo le decimos complement. Eh, continue with number two, Alejandro. Andrea and Pablo are Listen, listen, listening, listening, to listening to music. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Okay, Alejandro. So, Andrea and Pablo are. Andrea and Pablo are. No, Andrea and Pablo are. Yo le estoy preguntando. ¿Qué son Andrea and Pablo? Ah, son el subject. Subject. ¿Qué subject serían ellos? El we, el they. Eh, sería la, they. They. They, they perdón, they, they, they. Ok. What is are? Es el verbo to be. ¿Verbo to be o verb to be? Verb to be. Mm -hmm. Listening. Sería el ing. And to music, it's the complement, right? The high school complement. Excellent. Really good. Okay, everyone. Thank you. Basically, in present progressive, you have your verb. For example, wait. Listen. Listen is my verb in present, right? But if I add ing, it's going to be in progressive. Listen, All right? Let's go with number three, Karen. Okay. 
means uh, three. Yes. My parents are, are driving home right now. Right now. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> Very good. My parents are driving home right now. So, Karen, my parents, what are my parents? My pa parents is soldier. Mm -hmm. El bear to be is R. Mm -hmm. El bear is dreaming. Mm -hmm. Dreaming. E uh, sorry? Driving. Driving is. Uh, oh, no, yo le estaba ayudando nada más en la pronunciation, pero si es correcto, este es el bear. Uh, driving. Okay, and the rest is complement. All right, excellent. Estamos haciendo el análisis de estas oraciones porque no quiero que se nos quede nada. All right, and let's go with number four, Carlos Guevara. Carlos Guevara, are you there? Perdón, perdón. You, you are leaving the house again. Uh, subject, you, better to be are uh, leaving. Bueno, sería ver. Plus I and G. I and G. Y the house again, complement. Excellent, very really good. You're leaving the house again. All right, that's another sentence. You have plenty of verbs, right? Plenty of verbs. Now let's check the practice time. This is your time to practice. Uh, Maria Teresa, please read the instructions. Instruction word, individ instruction word individually. Or in Pronuncie, ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Individually. Individually. Word individually. Eh, to create a place. Two sentences using present progressing in, our, in affirmative. 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 Hmm? Excellent. All right, everyone. Let's work. Teacher, yes. Uh, my example. Mm -hmm. I am eating. I am eating pizza. Yes. Correct. Yes, it's, it's correct. correct. Yes, it's uh, correct. Thank you, teacher. Excellent, and it's good that you are eating pizza. That's delicious. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, let's start. Let's see, Karen, your sentence. Anderson and Axel are jumpy in sofa. All right, I are jumping. Jump. Excellent, pretty good, in the sofa. Very good, Karen. William, your sentence. My example uh, is, my sister is dancing tango. 
All right, excellent. Very good. My sister is dancing tango. Anibal, your sentence? I'm working right now and I'm resting in the bed. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Um, Monica, your sentence or your example? She's playing soccer. Mm -hmm. Very good. Alejandro, your example? Yo se la digo, teacher. Deme, deme unos segundos, porfa. Okay, okay. Carlos Guevara, your example? Jose is wearing his favorite shirt. All right, excellent. Very good. Wearing his favorite shirt. Uh, shirt. Shirt or short? Shirt. Shirt. All right, excellent. Angela Rosario, your sentence? I am using my new cell phone. Excellent, bravo, very good. And let me check, Jamilet Torres, your sentence. Jamilet? No, okay. Let's see, Alejandro, do you have your sentence? Se ha levantado. Ah, okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you. All right, don't ya worry. Viene, se ha levantado. Sí, oh, está bien, oh. gracias. Okay, meanwhile. Uh -huh. Alejandro. I love you eating pupusas. Repeat again, please. I love you eating pupusas or eating pupusas. I love eating pupusas. I love eating pupusas, yes. Excellent, very good. I love eating pupusas. All right, very good. Excellent. Thank you, everyone. Very good sentences. I'm glad. Tienen alguna pregunta hasta ahorita de este tema del present continuous? No? All right, I move on. We'll move on. Conjunctions and but. We have two conjunctions. Do you remember this? It's a snowing and it's very cold. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. I have this information. Conjunctions and but. What are conjunctions? Anibal, please. Conjunctions are words that link other words, phrases, or clauses together. I, I like. I like, I, I like cooking and eating, but I don't like washing dishes afterward. Excellent, very good, thank you, right? This is, this is like a short information for you, a quick uh, informative chart. Conjunctions are words that link other words. Son conjunciones, así les llamamos en español también. All right? And then you have present continuous, yes, no questions. Okay, we're going to finish with this. Maria, please, tell me the questions and Monica, tell me the answers. One and okay. one. Okay, number two. Are you wearing a sweat? Number one. No. One. Yes, I am, no. Yes, I am, no, I am not. Number two, is she wearing both? Yes, she is. No, she is not. No, she is. And number three, are they wearing glass? glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Excellent. Thank you. Repeat after me, Maria. Wearing. Okay. Wearing. 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 Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right, everyone. We're going to finish the class in here. 
but I want you to keep this in mind. These are present continuous, yes, no questions. I have the structure, but we're gonna see it next class because it's already uh, your time to, to sleep, right? Or to finish the class. We're going to finish the class in here. And on Monday, we're going to continue with this topic, all right? Thank you so much for being in the class and have a pleasant night and take care. See you on Monday. Bye. Bye. See you Monday. Bye. Have a good night. Good night, yeah. teacher. Yeah. Happy weekend. Good night, good night teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.